Greetings, everyone. It's been a while since I put out a video, so as you saw by the title, I thought I'd come and talk to you guys about the new pannier bags I got, the front pannier bags I got. I have the new bags I got are the Sport Packer Classic, and they are going to be replacing the Ortley Fork Packs. Um, there was nothing wrong quality-wise with the fork pack. It was just the size. Uh, I, I knew they were only 4.2 liters in volume. I just thought with the different shape, they'd be more practical than the salsa round bags that I had been using on the front. So once I got them and started trying to pack stuff in them, I realized that they're just too tiny. So I returned those, and I got the Ortley Sport Packer Classic Pannier bags. 30 liters total volume, 15 liters each. They are a lid closure. As you can see, they close, like I said, with the lid style, and they have drawstrings to cinch everything in and keep everything nice, secure, and waterproof. And then when the lids close down on them, they're super waterproof as well. Um, it took some MacGyvering and some improvisation to get the Arkell rack on the front of the Trek 1120. It's not made for a bike with boost spacing and big tires like I have. It's made for a more traditional touring bike with 700 seat tires, you know, more traditional road bike tires. So uh, Taylor and I had to do a little MacGyvering and um, through some ingenuity and Taylor thinking uh, outside the box a little bit, we were able to get something done. I rushed a bit and kind of made us have to go in a different direction, but we got, we got it to work. So I'm not gonna get into too much detail. You'll see video of what we've done a little bit, but because Arkell would never endorse cutting the rack in half, I'm not gonna get into specifics. If it's something you wanna do, then you're on your own that way. You know, I'm just trying to cover my butt here, I guess. So um, going forward, I will definitely be letting you guys know how the bags hold up. I'm very confident that they're going to be good right off the bat. Um, in the one bag, I've got all my cooking stuff. So I have my gas stove, my twig stove, a gas canister, and also my uh, French press coffee maker. And the other one, I have all my sleeping gear, my um, sleeping pad, my sleeping quilt, my pillow, and a tarp. So. Basically everything I need for sleeping and cooking is in the front. I'll have my tent and all that on the front rack. So everything's gonna be up front in that regard. And then in the back, I'll be able to keep all my heavy stuff like clothes, my laptop, um, GoPro stuff and all that as well. So um, I'm pretty confident that I'm not gonna have any issues with these bags, but of course I will let you know how they hold up and how the rack holds up with, you know, the MacGyvering and the improvisation that we had to do. I'm pretty confident it's gonna to be totally good though. So really looking forward to the new setup. I think it's gonna be uh, make camping a lot more comfortable for me. And in, in effect, I wanna take as many hotel rooms, which was a huge problem financially last year, and which was really my main problem financially was the hotel rooms. It just got out of control in the second half of the year. So anyways, guys, if you've been watching the video up to this point, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. I do have a Patreon, but I haven't had a chance to work that yet, but I am definitely gonna have that set up for this summer. So um, if you wanna look for that going forward, I would definitely appreciate it if you check that out. It's the best way you can help the channel for sure. So anyways, guys, I hope you're uh, getting out there even though it's winter and doing something, and I will talk to you in the next video. Cheers. I'm not sure what I was thinking, guys, but um, I forgot to say thanks to the guys at City Cyclery for letting me uh, do this video in the shop again. So. Guys, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. If you're in winter and you need anything cycling related, come and check out City Cyclery on Drulard. Cheers.